And to that, Bridget replied, oh, that was horrible. And I said, thanks a lot. I wrote that song. Hey Canucks fans, and welcome to Clay's Canucks Commentary. I just returned home from watching the Vancouver Canucks defeat the Calgary Flames 3-1 in preseason action, and after seeing the game live, I am convinced that forward Jake Vertanen must be on the Canucks opening night roster on October the 7th. Vertanen has the potential to make a huge impact on this team. He has a great combination of skill, speed, and strength, and when they're all working together, when he puts them all together, he can truly be an unstoppable force. I witnessed all three of these elements tonight at the game. Let's start with his skill. Vertanen has really good hands and an excellent shot, especially his wrist shot. He's got a quick release, it's very powerful, and we saw it tonight when he beat Mike Smith uh, early in the first period, and then when he beat him again, although he hit the crossbar later on in the first period. In fact, he could have come out of the first period with two goals. He's also a very good passer, and I witnessed that today, especially in the neutral zone and coming out of his defensive zone. And he's very strong on the boards, actually, and very confident on the boards. So I was very impressed with Vertanen's skill. Second is his speed. And I think this is the attribute that most Canucks fans have already noticed about Vertanen. And we see it all over the ice. Coming out of his own zone, he'll make a quick first pass and then dart down the ice. In the neutral zone, he's a machine, and that's where I've been most impressed with, actually. Just watching him live, seeing him go side to side across the ice, he makes up a lot of ground very quickly, and with his combination of speed and size, which I'll get to in a second, he can actually do a lot of damage. And then in the offensive zone, we saw it tonight, especially on his two rushes in the first period, especially going to the net and then unleashing his wrist shot. Vertanen has strong, powerful strides, and he's also very tough to knock off the puck. Now let's look at his strength. Jake is a big boy. At 220 pounds, he's among the Canucks' heaviest forwards. But I forget about that when I see him skating on the ice because he skates so effortlessly, because he skates so quickly, I forget how big he is. However, I'm sure opposing players will remember how big and strong he is when he plasters them into the boards. And as long as Vertanen plays disciplined and in control, he can use his body to intimidate other players, to hit them, to body check them, to separate other players from the puck, without taking silly penalties. And from what I've seen, I'm very confident that Vertanen will be able to play in control because of how smart he is. Actually, let's make that a fourth S. Along with skill, speed, and strength, he has smarts. A few other quick reasons why I think Vertanen should make the team. He's obviously very teachable. He went down to Utica without complaining last season and made himself a much better player. He works hard. We saw that last year in Utica and we've seen that so far in the summer and especially in these first preseason games where he's been among the hardest working and most effective players on the ice. And I think if he makes the team, it'll be a good sign to the fans that Canucks management are all in on this rebuild, that they are indeed committed to these young players and that they're rewarding these young players when they work hard, when they're disciplined, and when they follow the instructions set out by the coaches and management. Now I'm not asking Canucks management to put Vertanen on the team just because he listens well, or because he obeys well, or because he was the sixth overall pick back in 2014. I think Vertanen should be on this roster because of the skill set he brings. The skill, the speed, the strength, the smarts, all four S's. And like I said, I think he can bring something to the team that no other Canucks forward can. I'm gonna end this video off by sharing a funny story with you relating to Jake Vertanen. During the second admission, I went to the team store and bought a couple of t-shirts, one of them being a Jake Vertanen jersey, you know, that half shirt, half jersey, it says Vertanen and number 18 on the back. And I came back to my, my seat for the third period and I felt a tap on the shoulder and it was my friends, Nick and Susan. I know them from church circles and they introduced me to the couple sitting next to them and it happened to be Rainer and Bridget Vertanen, Jake's parents. It goes without saying that I was thrilled to meet them. I told them how much of a fan I was of their son, how I hoped that Jake would make the team this year. And I told them how much I enjoyed meeting Jake two years ago when he appeared in our Canucks Christmas rap music video that we filmed at Rogers Arena. And to that, Bridget replied, oh, that was horrible. And I said, thanks a lot, I wrote that song. And then she said, no, 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 I mean, I mean, their dancing was horrible. Those two guys have no rhythm. Those two guys being Jake Vertanen and Ben Hutton. And that's my favorite thing, they just don't quit. So we shared a good chuckle. I assured them that I wasn't offended, although I think I shed a tear inside. And I asked them what they thought about Jake spending the majority of last season in Utica. And they told me that Jake really enjoyed his year in Utica. They learned how to be a better player, learned how to be a better professional, that he loved playing for Travis Green as we know, 
and that Darren Archibald, the captain of the Comets, took Jake under his wing and, and mentored him throughout the season. Having said all that, they, like me, would absolutely love to see Jake crack the opening night roster. So I thanked them for their time, took a quick picture with them holding up the jersey, and I posted the picture on social media and I got a, some nice attention, which I wasn't expecting, then I came home to record this blog. The Canucks have one more preseason game to go, and then they have a one week break before they start things off for real on October the 7th when they host the Edmonton Oilers. And I really hope that Jake Vitanen is one of the 12 forwards playing in that game. Canucks fans, I'd love to hear what you think. Do you think that Jake has done enough to earn a spot on the opening night roster? Or do you think he'll still be better off with some more time in Utica? Leave your comments below. I love reading them and I love responding to them. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, I invite you to do so now. Thanks for watching. God bless and go Canucks go.